What is up, everybody? It is February 9th, 2020 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. And we're getting some sleet and some, it's basically just sleet coming down right now, which is awesome. We're at Bear Mountain. This is where we started the video because I was on a long phone call. Anyway. Yeah, check it out, guys. We're getting some sleet. And we were issued the winter storm warning, which is phenomenal which is phenomenal. They said above 6,000 feet, we could get a half a foot. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna get three to six inches here. And if I'm, if I'm wrong, then I will totally be honored to, to, you know, to suck that one up. But if you just look at the weather radar and see how fast this storm's moving through and the amount of, the <laughs> amount of precip that's falling at the time, it'll be very easy to, figured out approximately how much snow we'll get it's it's pretty simple stuff like uh it really isn't isn't difficult the way i figured it out most is uh just by the movement of the storm um and yeah the type of direct hits that it has on this mountain range etc and this storm in particular you guys we don't get many storms that are a direct hit to this area but this this is going to be a direct hit it's not a huge storm it's actually not even that big at all, but we could get six inches out of it. And uh, for a, l a little storm, that's pretty damn good up here. We'll take it. And I know you guys want the snow bad. And I want it for you guys, so. Anyway. Wow. I'm telling you guys, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Um, <laughs> for those of you that watched the last video, um, the calm before the storm, I, I, I talked about some really personal stuff. And uh, for those of you that are out, out there struggling, like I, I don't wanna sound like I'm repeating myself and I'm not gonna talk the story again, but um, if you're struggling with you know addiction and this and that, um, um, I've been a very fortunate dude to have survived through so much of those aspects of life and uh and i keep on getting chance after chance after chance when i know so many people i can't even count on my hands who are dead because of the drug and alcohol lifestyle can't even count on my hands that's that's gosh, i've probably been in 20 years of being in and out of aa probably been to about 45 memorials just from my aa brothers and sisters so it's sad guys it's very sad but you guys can do this. You guys don't have anything to be afraid of. As I told you, um, I know of a killer product out there for those of you that are stuck on opioids and stuff that are just going to destroy you and kill you and then kill everyone who loves you um, because that's what we do as alcoholics and addicts. We're very selfish. Um, you know, um, yeah, just, uh, just please hang strong, you guys. Please hang strong. And if you ever need to talk to me, hit me up. I know I'm kind of all over the place because my mind's all over the place right now regarding, uh, you know, how I want to translate this to you guys because it's important, you know, because it took me nine treatment centers and two sober living houses. The ninth treatment center was where I got the message. I got the message from there. It was the same message that every other rehab had tried to teach me, but they delivered it in a different way and I understood it and I've, I haven't had a drink since. Um, but I didn't stay abstinent from everything, which is why I had that major problem with the hydros um, three weeks ago, and I haven't touched them since. I told myself that next morning, no more, no more. I don't care if if I die. I care if I die because I don't want my mom to hurt or anything like that. So um, I, I just, I just, uh, man, that's such a good thing that I'm not that type. Of person who would take my own life um, and for those of you that do feel like that god man pick up the phone and call me or something man like like anything but that I mean you guys are so valuable and so worth it and have changed my life significantly um, you guys show me love that I don't get from my own brothers and sisters and I have six brothers and sisters so thank you guys for loving me so much and I promise you I will always be here for you 
this this is no joke like like guys this is no joke the whole opioid thing like you know i'm a smart guy and i know my limits um and the other night something happened and i think three weeks ago it was because i i bought them on the street instead of getting a regular script this was the one time i i i bought them on the street i was like having like amnesia and so I was thinking, geez, these are like benzos, not really, <laughs> you know, because uh, I'm, I'm not remembering anything. And um, guys, it's just not worth it. I'm even at a point where I'm just ready to stop taking all medication. I've been taking Prozac too for the past like two months um, because I'm a coward. And I don't want you guys to think I'm calling you a coward if you guys take any of these medications. It's just me from being in and out of the AA walls for many, many years. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just excuse after excuse after excuse. But as I said, I know I'm going all over the place, but I, I'm just so fortunate to still be here. I'm so fortunate to be here. I'm fortunate to be able to re to do these dumb recordings. I mean, I enjoy them, but I, I say they're dumb because I'm, kind of embarrassed that I enjoy doing stuff like this. It, it like, you know, um, cause I don't see many other people doing stuff like this or who get ex so excited. Like I do. Um, it, it's just freeing. It really is. It's freeing big time. So another thing you guys in about a month, maybe two at the most, I'd like to rent that Alpenhorn again and invite a bunch of you up here. So why don't we plan on that? Why don't we plan on, uh, and then I'll keep on talking about it once I get a few responses from you guys. Like it, it, as soon as I get the first confirmation, like, yeah, me and my wife and our two kids will be there uh, for for Monday night and we'll, we'll leave Tuesday type thing. Just let me know. Um, it's on me, you guys. I want you guys to have a good time. Come enjoy it up here. Um, I wanna give back as much as I can to you guys. You guys are wonderful. I really appreciate everything. So, enough running my mouth. It's not like a goddamn tweaker. All right, so it is 32 degrees on the dot. 1.37 p.m. And we're getting sleet here. Fox Farm Road, you guys. So this isn't gonna be the longest video. It'll probably be a total of about 10 minutes, but it'll at least give you guys a sense of what's going on. And as you guys see quite often, we get sleep often, often. We are like right at an elevation that is just so, just, uh, man, it's, it's, we're right on that snow rain line many times, like really, really close within a thousand feet. And so that's why we get a lot of, a lot of sleep here. It's not like Midwest snowstorms and stuff where you'll get those big Arctic blasts um, and you know, you'll have your high temperature like zero degrees and your low minus 20 um, and just straight up snow. Uh, that just doesn't happen that often here. We get so much sleet, it's ridiculous. But when we do get our nice, really cold storms that bring a lot of snow, the snow is beautiful. The snow is beautiful. And before I forget, I need to tell you guys, don't forget to bring your chains. two-wheel drive they're probably gonna force you to put on chains if you have four-wheel drive they might ask you to present your chains so they can see you have chains but if you have four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive with I think snow tires or something similar you'll be good you'll be good for sure but I will do the best to keep you guys updated I don't want anything to happen to you guys I want you guys to get up here safe and soundly as you can, so you can have a blast. Come out here and have a great time. All right, we're turning left on Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. Okay, we did quite a little loop. Tomorrow morning.
morning at 8.30, I have an appointment at one of these massage places up here to get an hour Swedish massage. I used to get massages all the time back in the day, and I haven't had one since I lived up here, and it's been five years. And I do nothing but work up here and stress, work and stress, work and stress. And uh, I need I need a break. So before I open my doors for business tomorrow, I'm gonna go get an hour freaking massage. Hopefully it'll be great. Hope, you know, I'm telling you right now, man, I need it. I need it. Anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I will be getting back to you shortly with another update as soon as we start getting some heavier weather. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.